Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome. This is a stadium that really resonates with every Australian football fan. We're in Sydney at Stadium Australia. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Haiti against Denmark. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And a look at the Haiti starting 11. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And the match begins. He's letting it go as they keep the ball. And out of play it goes. Disappointing pass. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. Daniel Etienne. Bacheba Louis. It needs an accurate cross. Making sure nothing came of it. And not quite on target. Unfortunate, you've got to say. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. It's good technique. She makes good contact, but it needs to be on target to trouble the keeper. an ambitious pass didn't quite execute it properly Etienne Rosalor Borgella and teammates around her and caught by the keeper Well, they've lost the ball. Well, just trying to drive her team forward here. Able to get a body in the way. Harder. San Trulsgård.
Oh, well, that challenge will mean the referee has to act. What's she going to do? Well, not a red card, just a yellow. Interesting one, Stuart. Well, I have to say, I think the referee's got that absolutely right. I don't think it was a red card. I'm not sure it was a goal-scoring opportunity. say meat and drink to those in the wall merci du mornay charlie jeudi oh she's made a crucial tackle there can they do something positive on the counter attack Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Borgella. Dumornay. They do pass the ball with authority. And a significant block following that cross. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Mondesir. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. <laughs> Holding on to the ball, waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? Oh, could be! A smart stop here. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, not cleared away completely. Pernille Harder. Must be! And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And a good-looking pass. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Crossing opportunity... This could level it. Good stop from the keeper. <laughs> Delivering it. That is that for the first half here.
Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. An effective challenge. Well, just look at this. That was so close to coming back into play, but it doesn't matter. They all count. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Gevitz. Well, successfully cut out. Rosalor Borgella. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Bacheva Louis. And she moves the ball with intent. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Being pressed hard. Shirley Jeudy. And given away. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? Must take the lead here. Oh, it's goalkeeping at its finest. Absolutely right. That is a wonderful save. Top-class stuff from the keeper. So a personnel change then. And over comes the corner. Found wanting a bit with that delivery. And stuffing out the danger. Madsen. They've given it away. Running with the ball confidently. And still they wait for the chance. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Firing it in, and she's managed to keep the game all square. And that's the sign of a really top-class goalkeeper, making the saves at just the right time. Playing it in. Magnificent goalkeeping, and still their level. Well, it's a top save, and it's an important one as well, Derek. That would have been it had that gone in. And over it comes. Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one.
Can someone get on the end of this? And the danger's still on. Now what can they do from here? Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? We've been waiting to find out. Now we know. A minimum of three added minutes here. Pernille Harder. Can she find the right pass? And there goes the final whistle. It's a disappointing outcome as far as Haiti are concerned. They've lost this one, Stuart. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on.